Hi, my name is Sherry and I'm the Academy and Community Lead at Easy Store. And by the end of this video, you are going to learn on how to add your product into your Easy Store admin panel. So let's jump straight into it. All right, so the very first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you have logged in into your Easy Store admin panel. And once you have successfully logged in, this is a dashboard that you'll be seeing. So now let's take a look on the left side. You will see there are different sections there. There are home, orders, products, customers, discount channels, and many more. And now we are going to the product section. And you will reach to this page. So if you have previously uploaded your products, you will be seeing the list of products that you have uploaded. Yeah. And now we are going to add a new product. So to add a new product, click on add product and then you will reach out to this page where you will need to fill in the information about this specific product that you are uploading so the very first thing that we are going to fill in is the product name so let's just give it a name for this product for example high heels Okay, so once we have the name already, of course, comes with the description which you wish to let your customers know about this specific product. So for example, here is a product description that I've created. So it is really up to you on how you want to create the description to tell your customers about the product. It can be something like a funny quote or maybe something like a further information such as the measurements, the materials that it is made of, things like that. All right, so once we have the name and also the description, we will go to the images. All right, so you are going to attract your customers with beautiful images of the product so that they can visualize how it looks like. So as you can see, either you can click on upload files and select the image from a file in your device or you just drag and drop. Okay, so let's just assume that I'm uploading my product. So I'll just drag and drop. So I'm just going to upload the product image of this product in two different colors. So there you go. You can see like this. Okay, so if you would like to see, edit something, you can just edit it. Or if you want to have a bigger picture of how it looks like, you can click on the eye. Or if you want to delete it, you can just click on the trash can. Alright, so there are three ways that which you can upload your product image. One is just click add image. Like how I did it, you can just select the image from a file or you can add from an URL. So you just copy the URL and then paste it here. Also, you can consider to upload a video for your customers to better visualize your product. So how are you going to upload a video? You can click on YouTube. Yes, the most important part if you would like to upload a video, uh, is to make sure that you have that video uploaded into your YouTube and then you will need to copy the YouTube link of the video and then just paste it here and click add and we will have the video there. So this is how you can upload the video as well. So your customers will be able to visualize your product through images and also video. And next, we are going to go to the product options, the product variants. So if you are uploading an individual product with no other options, no other variants, you can just skip this part and then you can move on to the pricing section. However, if you have a product with different variants, different options like my product here, you can click on add variants. Okay, so variants meaning that your product comes in different sizes, for example, uh, options such as sizes, colors, materials, and so on. So if your product do have these options to offer to your customers, just feel free to click add variance and you'll reach out to this part where you will need to insert the option type. What is the option type? What is uh, the option value? What is the option type? And also what is the option value? So please bear in mind that the maximum option type is three. So you can have size, color, materials, for example. And the option value of each option type is 100 maximum so for example my heels come in different sizes for example 37 so you can just type 37 and enter and 38 two sizes and what are the colors red and green 
So as you input your option type and the option value, you will notice that below here will update as well. So it will show 37 red, 37 green, 38 red, 38 green. Okay, so you can see this is the part where you need to put the product image for this variant. So for example, 37 red. So we can click on this part and then select which image that you have uploaded just now. So it's red color. So we are going to select the red heels and then confirm. And there you go. You can see the red heels there. Same goes with the green color. So we need to make sure that we have selected the correct color, correct image for the correct variant. All right. So this is just for an example. And of course, if you have a lot of options with different designs and colors and materials, feel free to upload all the product image and then just select it according to the variant. Okay. And as for the SKU, let's assume that I have the SKU of red heels. So this is the SKU and I can write the SKU after that. Okay. And the prices here, you can see there's price and compare price. So this is something that you will need to take note of. So what is the difference between price and compare at price? Uh, let's take this situation as an example. For example, I'm going to sell this red heels of 37 size as the original price of 100 and compare price, I put zero. So this indicate that it's very straightforward that this high heels is 100 ringgit. Okay, this is the fixed price. However, if you are going to do a special promotion or a special discount for this specific heel, what you're going to do is you're going to move this 100 ringgit, which is the original price, to the compared price. And what happens at the price section is you are going to fill in the latest updated price that you are going to offer to your customers. For example, I'm going to give them a 50% discount. So it becomes 50 ringgit. So you can see the original price is 100, but I move it to the compare at price section. Whereas the price section here, I'm going to put the new latest updated price, which is 50 ringgit. So 50 ringgit is the price that they're going to see. Okay, so how it looks like on your online store from your customer's perspective is it will show like this. You can see before that is 100 ringgit and it got slashed out and show 50 ringgit, which is the new pricing. So this is the difference of price and compare price. So if you would like to have a special promotion, a special sale for your products, feel free to use this feature of price and compare price. Okay. And once you have done the price, of course, you can drag to the right hand side furthermore. So to input, if you have a cost price, a barcode, length, width, height, and weight. Okay, so just let's just assume that I do have the weight 0 0.2 kg like this. And of course, the, un the weight unit can be kg, gram, okay. And this. All right. So you can always come back to edit the options. You can, if you do not have the information now, do not worry. You can save it first and you can always come back and fill in again. All right. And once you are done with the variant, with the information, then we can go furthermore to the variant settings. So taxable product, is it a taxable product? If yes, then you can tick. If no, then you can just leave it blank. Free shipping, is this specific product of high heels, for example, is free shipping. If it's free shipping, then you can just click yes, it is free shipping. If no, you can just untick it. But what's really important in this variant setting is the inventory control. So if you click on this inventory control drop down, you can see there are two options here. One is don't track inventory. Second one is Easy Store tracks inventory of this product. If you ask me, I would really recommend you to click on Easy Store tracks inventory of this product so that you can let us to help you to track the stocks, the inventory of this high heels, for example. So if you scroll up a bit, you can see there's difference. If you click Don't track inventory, there's no quantity section here. But if you let Easy Store to track inventory of this product there you go you will see an additional section for you to insert 
the quantity of the stocks that you have for each of the variant. So for example, I put 100. Each of the variant, I put 100 stocks. So that to let easy store knows that you have 100 inventory of this product. So for example, if today um, this I put this high heels on sale and then there's a customer who purchase this high heels and um, easy store will help you to track the inventory and it will show 99 left so this is the importance of why we will encourage merchants to let easy store to help you to track the inventory so now let's go to the search engine optimization so for this seo as you can see the meta description is actually the same as the product description that i've key in so product descriptions are very important for this SEO. So need to make sure that they should be unique. So try to avoid using the very manufacturer's description because mm, some other sites may be using them as well. So you can just explore your creativity and just write your own type of product description. Okay, so as you can see, uh, I'm using the same product description. And as mentioned, make sure that your product description is very clear and easy to read. So try to put the customer in view of owning the items. So you can put something like a pun, like what I say, like the quote, things like that. And also clearly describe the features and also the description of your products. Okay, and as well as you can also outline on why they should buy this product, why your customer should buy this product and why do you think that it is a good choice for your customers to have this product, okay? So you can mention in the description also uh, what this product is made from, the materials or maybe the sizes of things that is very stand out. Yeah, things that you would like to highlight regarding this specific product. Okay, because it aligns with your uh, store brand value as well. Yeah, and also you can also think about what your potential customers will mostly search for. And from there, you can also input the, the keywords that they will search for. For example, a red pairs of high heels. Okay, it might sound very simple, but this is indeed what most of the people will search for if they are looking for similar products on Google. Okay, so you can also insert things that most likely that they will type when they are browsing through, when they are looking for this product, this type of product on Google. Okay, so by adding these words into your description, you can give your customers a better chance of finding the product that they are searching for. Okay, so it is actually increase your possibility to be found on the Google search. Okay, so this is how you can do your SEO. So bear in mind, SEO is important for your customers to find you. So once you're done everything, take a look on the right side is the visibility. Publish, schedule, or unpublish. So this is very uh, straightforward. If you take publish, meaning that once you save, it will immediately appear on your online store. Okay, it will. That means that it's, it is out on sale. However, you want to unpublish it, you can always come back and unpublish it so that your customers will be no longer, will no longer be able to view this product. Or if your product is a special product which will be on sale on a special day, you can schedule it first. Okay, so once you click schedule, you can click and choose the preferred date and time on this calendar so that this product will appear according to the date and time which you schedule. So once you pick, for example, and then just click OK like this. And of course, you can see other sections, for example, like collections, brands, vendor, and tax. So these are the information which, you, if you have it, you can actually insert it. For example, brand, Aurora brand, what vendor, from which vendor, and what is the tax. So these are actually non-visible for your customers. However, it will be useful for you or your staff to browse through and filter out the products in the product section. Just for example, if you have a lot of a lot of products that you have in your easy store admin panel so in order to filter out and take a look at the product um you can just filter it according to this information okay so let's just take an example for example high heels i put the brand as aurora 
So let's just assume that you have a lot of products and you want to find this specific product high heels. Okay, so you can just click this icon here to filter. You can filter by visibility, you can filter by collection, you can filter by vendors, tags and brands. For now, I'm going to filter it by brand. So select brand Aurora and then show results. And there you go. It will show all the products with the brand of Aurora. So it is actually useful and it's convenient for you and your staff to search for the products in the product section. And once you're done with everything, you can just click save and you can see your product was successfully updated. Okay, so you can go back to your product section all products and you can see high heels the latest updated product here together with the name the inventory the visibility and also the price and like i said you can always go back to this section click on the product and then do the editing do the editing and also adding the information okay so this is how and you can see the sales channel here you can see where will this product be appearing so for example that I'm selling on my online store. So you will see online store under this sales channel section. And as a result, this is how your products will be displayed on your online store. Okay, so you can see uh, all the information that you have filled in will appear here. For example, the product name, the price, and even the product variant. So for example, if I'm your customers, I can click, I can select the sizes. And of course the color. So as I choose green, you can see on the left side, we'll show the product image of a green color high heels. Okay, and they can also select the quantity. And if you scroll down a little, is the product description. So this is how your product will be displayed. And this is how you can add your products into your Easy Store admin panel. So now you can add your products no matter it is a product with variant or without a variant. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye!